हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स क्लब बाय शक्ति सर सो इन टुडेस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व यू न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन इम्पल्स एंड टू द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ न्यूटन लॉज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ थर्ड लॉ सो देर आर वन और टू एग्जाम्पल्स रिलेटेड टू न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ और बेसिक नोमेरिकल ऑन फोर्स एंड एक्सलरेशन बट द फर्दर नोमेरिकल्स पर्टिकुलरली बेस्ड ऑन इम्पल्स and this is part first or we can say part a of the this series of numericals based on impulse in the second lecture too i will bring more numericals uh, more difficult or we can say more conceptual numericals based on impulse so let's start with our first numerical the force on a particle of mass 10 g is this if so the value of force we have 10 i cap plus 5 j cap if it starts from rest so the initial speed u equals to 0 what would be its position at t equals to 5 seconds so we need to calculate the position it means the value of x or r the position vector r so let's start with we have force equals to 10 i cap plus 5 j cap so from this we can say the acceleration along the x axis is nothing but the force along the x axis divided by mass so the value of force with the x component is 10 and the value of mass is 10 g so 10 g g can be converted into kg something like this okay so it comes out to be 1000 meter per second square it is the acceleration along the x axis because this terms cancel each other okay so as this is the acceleration along the x axis we can write the x vector is equal to uxt plus half ax t square let's put the value ux is equal to 0 because it starts from rest plus half acceleration is 1000 and t square it means 5 square which comes out to be it's 500 multiply 251500 meter this is the x component of the position vector similarly we can calculate the y component of the position vector so acceleration along the y axis is nothing but the force along the y axis divided by mass and the value of force along the y axis is 5 divided by mass which is 10 g 10 g it's converted into kg when we solve this it comes out to be 1000 divided by 2 equals to uh, 500 meter per second square again the y coordinate is equal to u y t plus half a y t square let's put the value here and the values is 0 plus half acceleration along the y axis we just solved it is 500 and 5 square let's solve this it comes out 250 into 25 and you know you can solve this expression and once we multiply 25 into 25 it comes out to be 625 it is 625 meter this is the y so we can write the r vector or the complete position vector r vector is equal to 12500 i cap plus 6250 j cap so this is our complete answer so this is the solution of our numerical let's move toward the second numerical so the second numerical says a bullet moving at 250 meter per second penetrates 5 cm into a tree limb before coming to rest assuming that the force exerted by the limb is uniform find the magnitude of force mass of the bullet again is 10 g so let's solve this numerical so the initial speed of the bullet is 250 meter per second and the distance covered by the bullet is x is equal to 5 cm which can be written in terms of 
meter something like this 0 0.05 meter and the final velocity is 0 because it comes to rest right okay so we need to calculate the magnitude how we can calculate the magnitude firstly we need to calculate the acceleration with the help of kinematics equation so it is v square minus u square equals to 2 a s this is comes out to be 0 minus u square so 250 square equals to 2 a as the final velocity is 0 so it is the negative of acceleration that's why i am writing minus a and the displacement is the displacement covered is 5 divided by 100 0 0.05 okay let's solve this and we will solve the value of a when we solve the value of a it comes out 250 square divided by 2 into 0 0.05 which is 625000 meter per second square so this is the acceleration and from the acceleration we can calculate the value of force so the average force is nothing but mass into acceleration and we know the mass is this much kg and the acceleration is 625000 these three digits cancel each other it comes out to be 6250 newton and this is the answer of the numerical okay let's move toward the third example third example says an iron ball of mass m equals to 50 gram so fall from a height of h1 equals to 5 meter and rises up to h2 equals to 3.2 meter after colliding with the horizontal surface if the time of contact of the glass is 0.02 seconds find the average contact force exerted by the exerted on the ball by the horizontal surface so this is based on impulse so let's see how it's, the diagram goes it says the ball is coming down initially and after colliding with the horizontal surface it's moving upward so initially it comes from a height of uh, 5 meter h1 equals to 5 meter and goes up to a height of h2 equals to 3.2 meter so the initial direction is downward direction okay and the final velocity if we say this is v1 and this is v2 the v1 is negative and v2 is positive so upward direction is taken as positive and downward direction is taken as negative let's see how we can solve this the average force is nothing but the change in linear momentum divided by the time taken and the linear momentum can be written as final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken and in case of height the v2 can be written as or we can something like this v2 is nothing but v2 and upward direction along the j cap minus and this is minus v1 j cap so this negative sign is due to the downward direction this negative sign is due to downward direction so the expression expression comes out to be m upon delta t v2 plus v1 j cap where the value of v1 equals to under root of 2g h1 and the value of v2 equals to under root of 2g h2 okay let's put these values so the force comes out to be mass upon time taken and under root of 2g h2 plus under root of 2g h1 j cap okay and we know the value of mass and time as mass is uh, 50 gram so 50 converted into kg 
and the time taken is 0 0.02 okay so under root of 2 g equals to 10 and h2 h2 is equal to h2 is equal to 3.2 plus under root of 2 10 h1 is equal to 5 so we will solve this equation once we solve this equation we can write it as something like this and uh, 2 into 10 into 32 divided by 10 plus this is 5 to 10 this comes out to be 100 j cap so this 10 this 10 cancel each other 100 100 cancel each other so 5 by 2 bracket 64 plus root 10 j cap okay so this is 5 by 2 so root of 64 is this is 8 and this is 10 j cap so 5 by 2 18 j cap 2 9s are 18 9 5s are 45 so this is the average force this is the average force uh, applied on the ball so by the horizontal surface this is our in terms of newton okay let's move the next question so numerical number four says a liquid jet strikes the wall at an angle of 60 so we have a wall here so this is wall okay a liquid jet so here we just come the liquid jet okay and it strikes the wall let's say it is coming something like this okay and it's the cross sectional area of the liquid jet okay so it is moving in this direction what it say a liquid jet strikes the wall at an angle theta with the normal and rebound with the same angle so this is the diagram and we will see the angle so this is the normal and making an angle theta again it rebound with the same angle theta so let's see what the diagram says so when it is moving something like this so it is making an angle theta here and when it is coming out so it is again moving an angle theta this is angle theta this velocity v this is velocity v and we are considering a small element of mass of the fluid we are considering a small element of mass delta m we can say it is delta m delta m delta m okay calculate the transfer of momentum to wall so this transfer of momentum can nothing but the change in momentum we will calculate the change in momentum along the x-axis as you see the along the x-axis initially initially you can see the initial momentum before it hits the wall is toward the positive side or right hand side along the x-axis and the final momentum is along the negative x-axis but the y component but the y component before or after remains same in the downward direction it means that there is no change in momentum along the y-axis there is only change in momentum along the x-axis because initially it is uh, along the positive x-axis and after the strike it uh, is along the negative x-axis so let's solve this solution so change in momentum along the x-axis is nothing but the final momentum along the x-axis minus the initial momentum along the x-axis okay 
and the final momentum along the x axis we can write this is the final this is final and this is initial so final momentum towards the negative side so it's negative mass into velocity and cos of theta because this is v and this component this component is equal to v cos of theta okay and mass is delta m so this is the final momentum of the delta m minus the initial momentum is mass into velocity cos of theta so the total is minus 2 times of delta m v cos theta this is the change in momentum along the x axis okay so let's consider it our equation number first but we know that if we consider if we consider this whole system wall plus jet system then there is no change in linear momentum of the system right the, the change in linear momentum arises in the jet due to the collision with the wall but if wall and the liquid jet considered as a system then there is no change in linear momentum of the system therefore we can write change in linear momentum of the jet plus change in linear momentum of the wall so this combinedly becomes system is zero right so change in linear momentum of the wall is nothing but negative of the change in linear momentum of the jet and we have calculated the value and this value the equation first give the change in linear momentum of the jet it is minus 2 delta m v cos of theta okay so it comes out to be 2 delta m v cos of theta it is the change in linear momentum of the wall we can see it is our equation number second all right now we will move to calculate the so this is the transfer of momentum to wall this is our uh, solution of the part a if delta t is the duration of strike calculate the force exerted by jet on wall so now moves toward the solution of part b we will find the force so b part force is nothing but the change in linear momentum of the wall divided by time taken and it is equals to 2 delta m v cos of theta divided by delta t okay here delta m can be written as as we know density is equal to mass upon volume so delta m upon delta volume this is volume this is considered as a volume this is considered as volume so delta m can be written as density into delta v so this v let's say velocity okay so we can write two in place of delta m i am writing density of the liquid and volume upon delta t velocity cos of theta okay this is clear so this is the force now again we can say from the hydrodynamics from hydrodynamics hydrodynamics where we know the Bernoulli's equation or the equation of continuity it says change in volume with respect to time or rate of change of volume is nothing but the area of cross section area of cross section and velocity of the liquid so this is the equation of continuity we will learn about it in our hydrodynamics chapter so here delta v here this one delta v upon delta t so we will substitute the value of delta v upon delta t equals to area of cross section a multiply the velocity okay so it says force equals to 2 rho area of cross section velocity and velocity cos of theta 
सो फोर्स कम्स आउट टू बी टू रो ए वी स्क्वायर कॉस ऑफ थीटा सो दिस इज अवर फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन वट इट सेज इट इज द फोर्स एक्सटेड बाय जेट ऑन वॉल दिस इज द फोर्स एक्सटेड बाय जेट ऑन वॉल ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैलकुलेशन सो कीप इन माइंड द मैथड हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस सिचुएशन सो यू सो हियर आई कैन फ्रेम टू थ्री टाइप्स if the situation according to this numerical like a jet strike here in this way and it is the theta then the change in then the force comes out to be 2 rho a v square cos of theta because it is acting at an theta if the situation is something like this some horizontal jet comes this way and bounces back in such situations the force is equal to again 2 the 2 comes out when uh, the uh, before collision and after collision the directions are opposite this 2 so again 2 rho a v square there is no cos theta because there is no angle all right and the third situation can be arise something like this the liquid jet comes in this way and spread along the wall spread along the wall right there is no bounce back in the opposite direction of the initial direction so the liquid jet some with velocity v and spread along the wall along the y axis as it spread along the y axis there is no bounce back so we can say the force is simply rho a v square so there is no uh, no contribution of the 2 because this 2 is applicable or come into calculations when the initial direction and the opposite direction are there but in the calculation or in this case there is only one direction that is initial direction towards the positive x axis and after the uh, collision of the liquid with the wall it just spread in the y axis so there is no bounce back along the negative x axis therefore we cannot write here 2 okay so keep in mind and remember these results okay let's move to the question number 5 a 3 kg steel wall so 3 kg steel wall strikes on a wall with a speed of 10 meter per second at an angle of 60 degree with the surface of the wall so i am drawing the diagram so this is wall and 60 degree okay 60 degree this is 60 degree with the wall so this is initial velocity and this is final velocity the magnitude remains same the ball bounces off with the same speed it says same speed and same angle find the average force exerted by the wall on the ball if the time of contact with the wall is 0.2 seconds so it's again quite easy we can resolve this uh, one this direction and one component is along this direction on this direction and one component along this direction so this is 60 degree and uh, 60 degree this is 60 degree it means that the y components that this comes v cos theta okay it's it's v cos theta all right and this is v sin theta or v sin 60 and this is minus v sin of 60 degree all right and you see that the along the y axis before collision the linear momentum is mv cos theta and after collision the linear momentum again mv cos theta in the downward direction it means that before and after in both the situations the linear momentum is along the downward direction with same magnitude so there is no change in linear momentum due to uh, 
collision of ball with the wall along the y axis but there is only change along the x axis so let's solve this so solution again change in linear momentum along the x axis is equal to final minus initial and the final is negative that is m minus mv sine of 60 minus it's come down to be mv sine of 60 right so this is this is initial and if i write this term with m so this is final so this is final and this is initial momentum mv sine theta okay and this negative sign this negative sign is due to the formula formula negative sign this negative sign it it is not indicating any direction so final minus initial and the change in momentum along the x axis is minus 2 mv sine of 60 degree let's solve this it comes to minus 2 mv sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 minus 2 m equals to 3 kg and speed is equal to 10 root 3 by 2 it comes out to be minus 30 root 3 okay this is kg meter per second so this is the change in linear momentum so now it's time to calculate the average force so the average force average force is nothing but the magnitude divided by time and magnitude is equal to 30 root 3 and the time is and the time is 0 0.2 0 0.2 when we solve this one it comes out to be 300 divided by 2 root 3 or 150 root 3 newton so this is our answer of the numerical it's very important very basic numerical so let's move toward the last question of this lecture it says a liquid of density rho is flowing with a speed v through a pipe of cross section area a the pipe is bent in the shape of a right angle as shown what force should be exerted on the pipe at the corner to keep it fixed let's solve this again it is the case of a liquid so I am considering a small mass delta m delta m okay so initially it is moving towards the positive x-axis and finally it is coming out along the negative j axis or we can say along the y-axis this is the y-axis so let's delta m is the mass of the liquid then the change in linear momentum of the liquid can be written as the j cap minus i cap because this is final situation and this is initial situation so final minus initial final is along the j cap and initial is along the i cap or x axis but the magnitude of the momentums in both the direction remains same right because the velocity is same and the mass is same delta mv delta mv so we can write the magnitude of momentum along j cap is equal to the magnitude of momentum along the x axis which is nothing but delta mv in terms of magnitude so the change in momentum of the liquid can be written as delta mv along the j cap minus delta mv along the x axis right now to solve this equation as it's at 90 degree right it's at 90 degree so we can solve this something like this delta mv square plus delta mv square it comes out to be under root 2 delta mv so this is the change in linear momentum of the 
liquid under root 2 delta m v okay but we know the value of density velocity and area so how do we use the terms here delta m again we will uh, we can solve this situation as force equals to change in momentum divided by time taken so it comes out to be delta 2 delta m sorry root 2 delta m v divided by time taken again as we solve this uh, like this math uh, mathematical calculation earlier that delta m can be written as rho times delta volume divided by delta t and this is velocity let's write it something like this this is velocity okay so that we can differentiate the v from uh, volume again volume upon time delta v upon delta t can be written as from the equation of continuity delta v upon delta t can be written as a v so force equals to root 2 density a v into v so it comes out to be root 2 density a v square so this is the result of um, the force acting so what it says the pipe is bent in the shape what force should be exerted on the pipe at the corner to keep it fixed so this is the magnitude of the force required to be exerted on the pipe at the corner to remain it fixed and it should be at 45 degree it means that the direction of the force exerted on the pipe should be at 45 degree something like here the direction of force f something like this so this is the uh, result of the numerical i hope you enjoy this lecture this is very important or very conceptual numericals you will find more numericals um, in the next lecture which is also based on impulse with different situations so till then Stay tuned with the physics and wish you all the best. Bye-bye.